Hello folks, today we are here to talk about book design in the form of a tag and I know there has been a beautiful books tag in the past but I thought today we'd do one that is specifically about book design and looking at different elements of book design because I'm a book designer and I love beautiful books. So number one is a book that you bought either primarily or completely because of the cover and I have quite a few of these but I have two in particular that I want to share with you here. The first is Tangleweed and Brine by Deidre Sullivan. I bought this completely because of the cover, because I love it. It's a collection of uh, fairy tale retellings and it's got illustrations inside as well, which I was delighted to see. They are by Karen Vaughan and they are very appropriate for the, the stories. Second up, we have a book that I will never be able to read because it is Harry Potter in Swedish. I love these editions. These are so uh, just imaginative and colourful and I would love to have this whole set but I don't know if they're all available anymore. I've been trying to get my hands on the Half-Blood Prince for a while and haven't had any luck. But this is Order of the Phoenix which has these gorgeous sunset hues on the front. It's got a purple spine with foiling and goes round to the back as well. The whole design of this is just lovely. Number two is a book that you want to buy that has a beautiful cover. And for me, this is Tove Gansson, Work and Love. I remember seeing this when it first came out and being intrigued by it simply because of the cover. It's quite um, imaginative. It's not just a biography with the photograph on the front, although it does have a grayscale photograph of her. It's also got this colourful stripe down the spine that also goes around a bit of the, the front and it's a beautiful book and I actually have it on order so hopefully it will arrive in the next few weeks and I can show you how just stunning it is. Number three is your favourite series design. There are so many that I could have chosen for this but in the end I had to go with the Mina Lima Classics editions. First one that came out I believe was Peter Pan. Every page is so carefully designed. I don't mean just well typeset, I mean it's got these um, interactive elements. So you've got illustrations like that but you've also got little things that fold out like this. And if you're not familiar with Mina Lima you, as, as a name you will be familiar with their work because they worked on the Harry Potter films and did the graphic design for those and their work is just very again imaginative. This is the shadow that folds out behind a leaf and if you've seen any of their books about Fantastic Beasts there's um, The Case for Beasts which is another stunning book uh, it's got lots of interactive elements as well. All of these are just gorgeous and there are quite a few of them now. There's Beauty and the Beast, The Little Mermaid and Other Tales, The Jungle Book and The Secret Garden comes out at the beginning of July. I will do a video about these as a whole at some point I think uh, so let me know down in the comments if that's something you'd like to see. Number four is a dust jacket. So this is a book that has a beautiful dust jacket or it has something hidden underneath the book jacket and actually the book that I've chosen has both of these things. It is Circe by Madeline Miller. So this is the UK edition and the dust jacket looks like that. Very shiny and then when you take the dust jacket off, I mean it's also got a map as the end papers. Underneath it looks like this. And in some ways I would like to display it on my shelf just like that because it is just so special. I like that it's this bronzy colour, um, cop coppery colour rather than gold. I think that obviously goes very well with the whole Greek vase aesthetic that they've gone for on the dust jacket. I love that they've continued that through to the um, foil stamping on the the hardback book itself. Speaking of hardback books, number four Number five, number five, is a naked hardback. So this is a hardback book that comes without a dust jacket. I have chosen Jen Campbell's book, The Beginning of the World in the Middle of the Night. I mean, it really doesn't need a dust jacket. It's so lovely as it is. Uh, the cover is designed by, or was designed by H. Rowe, who is an amazing illustrator and just has very imaginative work 
definitely follow her on Instagram. But um, yeah, I mean, the, the end pages as well are just that plain red, but really goes nicely picking up the red from the cover. And it's got a spot UV on the banner of the title. Number six is a beautiful paperback. This is by Light We Knew Our Names by Anne Valente. I still haven't read this, but I was absolutely drawn to this cover, which has, um, uh, it is a photograph, yes, a photograph of the, of the Northern Lights. Uh, this is another collection of short stories. I believe that it's kind of magical realism and I really need to read this. Number seven is a non-fiction book with a beautiful cover and this assumes that most of the stuff that we've talked about previously is fiction, which in my case it is, but if you do this tag it might not be. Um, but anyway, I wanted an excuse to show you this cover, which I love. Again, it is I believe made from paper cutouts, which seems quite appropriate considering the subject matter. It is about, um, it, it's a, a sort of memoir, a sort of, I mean, it's a non-fiction book about this guy going around finding species that are either, ex well, presumed extinct or nearly extinct. Adventures in Search of the World's Rarest Species. And I haven't read this yet, but I very much enjoy seeing the spine on my shelf every day. Number eight is a book with gorgeous end papers. And again, there are so many that I could have chosen from for this. I, I'm almost regretting only showing you one, but th this one is lovely and I wanted to fit it in somewhere because it it's so well designed in every respect. And it's The Worm and the Bird by Carly Bickford Smith. So of course it's designed beautifully in every respect. Um, you've got this lovely cloth, cloth bound cover with foil stamping, again in a, in a kind of bronze color. And inside on the pages themselves, you've got a metallic pan, Pantone color, um, which means it has a little bit of a shimmer to it, which is lovely. And I mean, the weight of the paper that's been used for this is great as well. But the end papers look like this, just a lot of worms wiggling around and I really appreciate that. It's a great book, and as is The Fox and the Star by Carly Bickford Smith, and that has lovely end papers too, but I chose this because it's, it's just so wriggly. Number nine is A Spine. And for this one, it's obviously a book that has a beautiful spine, but in particular one that you think is just as beautiful facing spine out as it is face out. So for this one, I chose The Book of Dust. Um, by Philip Pullman. It's got in a slipcase and the inside looks like this. Presumably a lot of dust. But the spine, I really like having that facing out in the slipcase uh, because you've got this dust design at the top and it says, and then there was the word dust with a capital D as if it wasn't ordinary dust, but something special. So yes, this is a rather special book. So all that's left to do is to tag some people. And we have a list that it consists of, but is not limited to Simon Savage, Jean from Jean's Bookish Thoughts, The Pot Collector, Lauren and the Books, insert literary pun here, Jen Campbell, Sana from Books and Quills, Kitty G, Sophie Carlin, Jason Purcell, and Sabrina from Unmanaged Mischief. And I will link all of their channels down below because they're all great. But if I haven't tagged you, or you just want to do this tag, please, by all means, be my guest. I will put all of the responses into a playlist as well. Alternatively, if you don't want to make a video, you could comment down below and tell me what your favorite book cover is. You can find me elsewhere online on Instagram and Twitter. That's at Holly Dunn Design. And my website is hollydundesign.com. As always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.